Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at the performance difference between Intel HD 520 and Iris 540 graphics in the game Just Cause 3. And I've picked this game because it gives us quite a graphic demonstration of the difference, not just in frame rate, but in the rate the game actually runs. Um, these are two near identical systems, so uh, Intel Nook 6th gen systems, one with the i3 with uh, the 6010U and HD520 graphics, the other with the i5 6260U, but otherwise identical systems. And what we can see here is the i5 with Iris 540 is actually running a lot quicker. It's not only exhibiting higher frame rates, but the game speed is running faster so you can see we are further through this introductory sequence whereas it is actually moving much slower on the i3 chip and um, this isn't just a difference between the i3 and the i5 because of the processor either um, if you look at my other videos you'll also see this issue is replicated playing on hd 520 with an i7 um, i haven't used that here just because i thought um, comparing ddr4 and that with the same spe specification for the rest of the system made more sense. But this actually is not a i3 to i5 difference, this is a HD 520 to 540 difference. And really with this title you go between the game being unplayable because it just doesn't run at the right speed, so everything feels very slow, to Iris 540 where you can actually play the game quite happily and okay the frame rate's a bit variable in places but it is a playable experience. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. Um, it's an in I thought it was quite a interesting phenomenon for this title um, and something to consider if you're looking at playing games, particularly Just Cause, and if you've got the choice between a HD 520 or Iris 540 based system. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other videos on my channel for games running on HD 520 and Iris 540. Hit subscribe if you'd like to see new videos as we post them and let me know what you'd like to see tested in the future.